Zip Tie Domes presents How to Make a Simple Do It Yourself Geodesic Dome. The Zip Tie Dome hub design is the easiest DIY geodesic dome you can make yourself. And it is the only geodesic dome that requires no tools to build. This geodesic dome has hubs so simple that even a child can put it together. Just zip tie the struts to the center ring inside the hubs without using any tools to build the dome. And this very simple design is what makes it great for teaching school children on how to build a geodesic dome. You can also build the larger shelter domes that are held together with 350 pound stainless steel zip ties. This makes the hub design strong enough to be used for commercial construction purposes. These shelter domes can be covered in mesh and coated with latex cement for building a permanent concrete dome for living purposes. But the real advantage is that the geodesic dome hubs are so easy and simple to manufacture. This lets you make all the parts needed to build the entire dome yourself. All you need is a handsaw and a power drill, and you can make your own hubs without purchasing a kit. This very simple geodesic dome hub design will let you build domes with PVC struts for greenhouses, Domes with square wooden struts for art exhibits and temporary outdoor structures. Steel domes made from EMT conduit for strength. And even bamboo domes, which is probably the strongest and lightest dome you can build. Here's a 2V dome that is 50 foot wide with 15 foot long bamboo struts. So if you want to build a geodesic dome and you don't want to buy a kit and you want to make all the parts yourself, or if you live in a country outside the United States and you don't want to pay international shipping fees, then you will want to build all the parts of a geodesic dome yourself, including the dome connectors or hubs, which you can make with just a drill and a handsaw. The hardest part of making any dome is designing and manufacturing the hubs. In these examples, the one thing all of these geodesic dome hubs have in common is that most people cannot easily make these types of hubs for themselves. Even with the wooden hubless design domes, you will still need a very expensive dual bevel miter saw to cut the wood at the proper angles and to the correct lengths. And you need to cut the wood accurate to a fraction of an inch or else the struts won't meet up to make the hub. But be warned that any geodesic dome that uses wooden struts, the wood will rot if it's used outdoors or in, a, in the humidity of a greenhouse. Bigelow Brook Farms has a lot of good content on YouTube. They built their huge geodesic dome greenhouse out of wooden struts and saw their dome rot before their eyes because of the humidity inside their greenhouse. They released a video called My DIY Dome is Failing, which I will link to in the description. Gog63 is another excellent YouTube content creator, and he released a video called Dome Down. His dome was also made from wood, and the wooden struts rotted, which made the dome fall apart. I will put a link to his video in the description below. Yes, you can use our hubs to make temporary domes with square wooden struts, 
But wooden domes for per permanent structures are not always the way to go. This dome is a temporary structure for an outdoor fair, but for building a permanent dome, don't use wooden struts. Another option for dome struts is to use metal domes from EMT Conduit, which will also work with our hubs. Metal strut domes are great, but metal is about twice as expensive than PVC. A 16-foot 2V dome with 5-foot struts requires 33 10-foot pieces of either PVC or metal conduit to manufacture, and when you double the cost of the struts, it adds up quick. But using 1-inch EMT conduit with our hubs to make a metal dome will let you make a much stronger dome. And the Zip Tie Dome Hub is the easiest geodesic dome connector you can make yourself to build an EMT conduit metal dome. Or a PVC pipe dome, or a wooden strut dome, or a bamboo dome, or even a dome made out of metal rebar for solid concrete domes. Just slip the strut into the hub and zip tie it. No tools are needed to build the dome, only zip ties. To make these hubs, all you need is a drill and a handsaw. Of course, a drill press and a chop saw will make it easier. But I built my very first PVC geodesic dome with my son in 2010 with just a drill and a handsaw, and you can too. To download the plans, go to our Zip Tie Domes website at www.ziptiedomes.com. At the top of the web page, we have a link to our Geodesic Dome download page. Every type of dome we sell is available as a set of easy to use plans that you can download. The dome plans come in both imperial and metric sizes. And if you need to use a special size strut with a non-standard diameter, like using different sizes of wooden dowel rods or rebar, or even clear tubes for an art exhibit, we can give you the exact size and measurements for drilling, cutting, and making your geodesic dome hubs to handle any size. So here is how the hubs work. The strut is zip tied to the center ring using a 350 pound stainless steel zip tie. The outer collar floats around the center ring and the size of the hole drilled in the outer collar only lets the strut move a certain number of degrees before it locks in the collar. If we want a greater angle, we drill a larger hole and we can have a lesser angle before the strut locks by drilling a smaller hole in the outer collar. The outer collar moves the fulcrum away from the center ring and onto the outer collar, which gives the dome much more strength. The smaller 2V domes are good for building domes 16 to 20 feet in diameter. The struts in a 2V dome have an 18 degree axial angle from the hub to make the curvature of the dome. So we drill a hole in the outer collar to make the strut lock precisely at 18 degrees. The larger 3V domes have more triangles in the domes and are good for building domes from 25 to 30 feet in diameter. The struts in the 3V dome have a more gentle curve with a 12 degree axle angle from the hubs. So we drill the holes in the outer collar slightly smaller than we do for the 2V domes to make the struts lock at a 12 degree angle. Each dome frequency has a different axial angle and requires a different size hole to be drilled based on the diameter of the strut. Through extensive experimentation, we have worked out the size hole that should be drilled in the outer collar for every dome frequency and for every strut diameter to make the struts lock at the correct angle. That is the secret to how our hubs work and it will be included in our download plans. By purchasing one of our downloads, you not only get unlimited support from us to help you make certain your dome project is a success, 
but you are also helping small business. We have a lot of good ideas, and your purchase helps keep us in business. It makes it possible for more ideas to follow this one. There are so many things you can do with a geodesic dome. You can build a greenhouse, a movable geodesic chicken coop, a dog pen, a portable welding shop, an ambisonic sound dome, a video projection dome, sheet pins, goat pins, and even a Darth Vader Death Star. Geodesic domes make a great science project for kids, and several school teachers have used our domes for a class project. If you are a homeless person or low on funds, and you want to build a dome, and $19.50 is a lot of money to you, I will send you a download at no cost so you can build your own dome. For everyone else that has the funds to build a dome, Please support us by purchasing our Geodesic Dome download plans, and I will be glad to provide personal support to help make certain your project is a success. We also have complete kits for sale, as well as our hubs only kits, where we make the hubs, and you can make your own struts from PVC pipe, which is very easy to do. Call us at 931-858-6892 if you have any questions. And please check out our website at www.ziptiedomes.com. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks!